Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a printer on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So I have a Wi-Fi printer, which I want to connect to my Mac operating system. So for that, what I need to do is, first of all, I need to open the system settings. I can open the system settings by clicking on this Apple logo and then click on system settings option here. Or I can even click on the system settings icon on the dock. Once system settings window opens, just scroll down a little. And here you will find this option which says printers and scanners. So we are going to just click on this option. Right now, I don't see any printer in this list. But once you add a printer, you will see the printer name in this uh, section here. So to add a new printer, you can click on this option which says add printer scanner or fax. And once you click on this option, if your printer and your Mac operating system is connected to the same Wi-Fi address, then you will see the list of all the printers here, right? So it's important to note here is that your printer and your Mac operating system should be connected to the same network or same Wi-Fi network, right? So this is uh, the printer uh, which I want to connect to. So I'm going to just select this printer. And once I select this printer, my Mac operating system is going to gather all the information about this printer. And then once that's done, uh, you can see use is HP NV4520 series. Uh, I can even select some software uh, if I want to uh, to uh, just configure this printer, but my Mac OS uh, already have recognized the software and the printer name, so I don't need to do anything. I will just click on add here which is going to show this kind of uh, window which says setting up your printer name and once the printer is connected successfully you will see the name of the printer and you will also see this green dot here and it says idle because it's not doing anything and it's also going to show you last used. So once this printer is added I can click on this arrow here and we can do some more settings related to the selected printer. So you can see I have this open scanner. So if I want to scan something, I can uh, scan uh, some uh, document. Then I also have the option to see the printer queue. When I click on this, I don't have any document in the queue. Also, uh, I have the option to see the options and supply. So you can see uh, the name of the printer, show printer web page, find printer option. And then I also have the option to check the ink level or supply level for my printer. So I can see uh, the color ink is up to this level and then black ink is up to this level. So I will click OK here. I also have the option to share this printer on the network option. So I can enable or disable it or I can open the settings for this uh, printer. And then I can select uh, who can print uh, the document using this printer. I can also add a new uh, group. For, for example, I have this user, I can select this and then I can just uh, select here and this user will be added in the list of uh, the users. So once you have added the user, you will see this sharing option. So you also have uh, the screen sharing and other options in the sharing section. But we want to uh, share the printer, right? So we can once again go to the printer settings and then enable this sharing option and then you can share your printer. You can also set this uh, printer as the default. So I can click on set this printer as default. So if you have multiple printers, then you can set 
one of the printers as this default printer. And lastly, I also have the option to remove the printer using this option. Now let's print something using this printer. So let's say I have this uh, sample PDF file. I just can click on uh, print option and then I can select this printer. By default, this printer is selected. And then uh, I can also select how many pages I want to print and uh, other settings. And once I'm happy, I can click on the print option. So this is how I can add a printer on my Mac operating system and print a document on my Mac operating system. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.